Uh, ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton here, of course, as we track today's developments. And we're keeping an eye on this big number. It's estimated more than 360 million glasses of sparkling wine will be consumed on New Year's Eve. Um, that's quite a bit of bubbly, but it wow. is my drink of choice. I just thought I'd share that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm contributing to that number, let's <laughs> just say. Right, Dr. Ashton, let's bring you in here. There was a prediction. Uh, I say prediction, but um, the U.S. got pretty good marks before the mm. pandemic. Right, said so we were prepared. Explain yes. what this was. The Johns Hopkins uh, School, Bloomberg School of Public Health, go through these pandemic preparedness drills um, every couple of years, and they did one in October of 2019, and found us rated the best in the world. Wow to address a pandemic. Of course, we know now that that's not true. They just did another one and their findings not really improved. They found the world is overall unprepared for the next pandemic. Hmm. This, in this summit, uh, they rank every country in the world on a scale from zero to 100. The average score was 38.9. Not a single country scored in the top tier. But yet again, we ranked first in overall preparedness with this score of 75.9. The U.S. also scored the lowest in public confidence in the government. We are not where we need to be, given what we've just been through, what we should have learned to be prepared for the next one. And if you talk to public health experts, they say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Right. All right, Dr. Ashton, we thank you for that. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.